This is quickly fixing yellowed teeth in Adobe Photoshop. If we look at this image, I am in the photography workspace and we can look at the histogram. I'm going to open up show all channels view and you can see that we do not have enough blue. This overall is very yellow. So first we need to fix that before we deal with our teeth. I'm going to go back to expanded view and I'm just going to go to my layers and add an adjustment layer of color balance and add a little bit of blue. Now already she's looking a lot better if we see before and after. Her skin had a definite yellow tinge. I'm going to zoom in with alt scroll. So she looks a lot better, like I said before, after. However, you can see that she still doesn't use teeth whitener. A lot of us don't. If you compare the white of her teeth to her eyes, you can see that she would look better and fresher if we gave her a little bit of a upgrade on her teeth. So let's talk about fixing teeth easily. First off, I don't want to get confused by this color balance, and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of bake that color balance in by saying merge down. So now that's, it's done. Before I do any retouching, I always like to make a copy of the layer. Uh, so I pick up that layer and pull it down into the make new layer. So now I have two and I'm going to rename this before and then turn it off. So I always have that to kind of click back on to see what it looked like before. So now we're going to be working on the background layer and we're going to go grab a tool which is right over here underneath the dodge tool. So it, this looks like a little sign. If you click and hold it down, you will see something called the sponge tool. Now this used to be used in dark rooms to kind of rub on color photographs and bring out the emulsion. So you can see that, so you can see we have a little circle on, on the screen that is our brush and it is controlled right here, the hardness or the softness. I would get about a medium softness and I've got about a, I would do about a 70 on my brush. And of course you can make your brush bigger and smaller using the bracket keys on your keyboard. So when we look at the sponge tool, there's two different ways you can think about it, saturate or desaturate. So if we were to take all of the color out of a yellow teeth, they would be white. So I'm gonna to go to desaturate and I'm gonna pull the flow down to about 20% because you don't wanna do, if you go too far on this, her teeth will look gray. And then I'm just going to simply desaturate a little bit. Now make sure you don't get into her gums. You of course could do a selection if you want. And I like to do it just little bits. So that's why I'm at 20%. If I up it all the way to 100%, you just click once and it'll do it. But you don't wanna get rid of too much or it will look fake. So let me see a before and after. Before, after, before. After. I think that's looking a lot better. So we can just kind of get rid. I'm just going to do this pretty quickly here. All right, that looks okay to me. So before and after. Now, this is also good for people if they happen to have uh, a little bit of yellowing in their eyes, either from sickness or from not getting enough sleep or drinking too much. You can always kind of whiten up their eyes a little bit. She didn't seem to really have a problem with that. But also what I like to do is go the opposite of desaturate and saturate. So for saturation, really bring that down to say 15%. Get a nice big fluffy brush and you can give her some color back. Now be really subtle. Do you see I just gave her just a little bit on her cheeks. Here's before, after. Just give her a little bit of a glow. before, after. And you can try just a little bit. You have to be very careful, a little bit on her. Sometimes if people's might wanna pink up their gums a little bit or give them a little bit on their lips. Let's see, before, after. I think she looks better. And, um, and a great trick, this works really well with blue-eyed people, but I think you'll see it on her. Just brighten up the saturation of their eyes just a little bit. Do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Let's go before, after. It just kind of brightens them up a little bit. So that is a simple way using the sponge tool to either desaturate to get rid of yellow teeth or saturate. Let's look at one more before and after. Before, after.